Hi, in this video we're going to look at the initial configuration steps for Burp Suite Enterprise. The steps will vary slightly depending on whether you chose to use an external database or the embedded database during the installation. First of all, browse to the application using the port you specified during the installation process. Your browser may give you an invalid certificate message when you first access the page. This is normal and it is safe to continue. You can resolve this by uploading a valid TLS certificate. The page will be displayed asking you to continue with the configuration. If you chose to use an external database, you will be prompted to upload a TLS certificate. We recommend uploading a certificate that is signed by a certificate authority that your browser trusts. If you upload a certificate that your browser does not recognize, you will need to refresh the page on the uploading screen in order to continue with the configuration process. If you have your certificate ready, you can click on Upload Certificate and select Choose File to select your file. Enter the password for your certificate when prompted and click Continue. You also have the option to skip this step and you can go back and configure this later through the Enterprise UI. Whether you upload a certificate or skip the step, you will then be taken to the Connect to your Database page. This page allows you to specify the details for your external database. You should make sure this is up and running and configured as per the setting up the external database instructions before continuing with this step. You'll need the JDBC URL for your database and the details of the users you created when you set up your database handy. So we'll add in the JDBC URL and we're going to enter the details for the user enterprise we'll use when connecting to the database. In this case, burp underscore enterprise. You can optionally enter a connection name if your database requires a separate username format, such as username at server name when connecting externally. We then need to add the username and password for the scanning machine database user, so we'll add the burp underscore agent details that we created earlier. When we click next, this will save our database details and take us on to the final step where we create our administrator user by setting up the email address and password. If you are using the embedded database, you will be brought straight to this final step. Once you've configured your admin user, you can sign in to License Burp Suite Enterprise and start using it. Have fun.